Guys, what is critical closing point? Critical closing pressure. Critical closing pressure is basically the minimum amount of pressure, the minimum amount of transmural pressure. What does transmural mean? Well, it means between the walls. So you can see over here, this is our capillary for today. And this will be the minimum amount of transmural pressure, which will be exerted to prevent the arterial from co collapsing. As you know, arterials can easily collapse, but this critical closing pressure is the minimum amount for, to prevent uh, arterial collapsing. So we can kind of write this as an equation that the critical closing point it'll be you need to put the minimum amount of pressure to prevent to prevent a bad thing from happening which is the collapsing of arterial so imagine this as the uh, minimum amount of pressure that the uh, that you'll have to put on a building to prevent the building from uh, collapsing so you don't want this building which is the capillary to collapse so guys what's the reason behind this this is because the, the so basically guys you would be wondering what is the pressure that is requires required for critical closing well you would be thinking zero well guys zero is not the answer there's going to be a threshold. The threshold over here is a key thing. If it's lower than the threshold, then there is collapse. Higher, no collapse. So lower than the threshold, there is going to be collapse. Higher than the threshold, no collapse. So guys, what is the reasoning? So we have the reasoning over here. Well, basically, red blood cells are, let's imagine this one is our red blood cell. Red blood cell is going to be transversing or trans, trans, traveling down the capillary. So now when it's traveling down the capillary, it needs some pressure to be moved. Why does it need pressure to move? Because the diameter of these um, of the red blood cell, this diameter, it is larger than the capillary uh, diameter. So the red blood cells diameter, because the smaller diameter than the red blood cells that it carries, they carry. So you basically need pressure because the red, the capillary it has smaller amount of diameters than the red blood cell it carries. So now, now, now we want to understand this. Now, where else does pressure come? Well, pressure comes from the annoying neighbors. Well, one of the annoying neighbors, imagine them as subendothelium. A capillary always has subendothelium, and, and that what and there is gonna be pressure from there. So the pressure will be coming from here, subendothelium, 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 and subendothelium. There's gonna be pressure being exerted on the blood vessel. But if it has critical closing pressure, it, if it has higher than the critical closing pressure, the, the arterial will be totally fine. Okay, good. But if it is lower than the critical closing pressure, then the, the surrounding and the tissue tissues pressure will cause it to collapse. So this will be collapse. So that's a key thing. And guys, what's the example? When in inactive tissues, we have metric arterioles and precapillaries. When you see metric ar arterioles in a um, inactive tissue or you see precapillaries, uh, uh, that means the arterial has collapsed. Thank you guys for watching this video.